everybody. Welcome to Frog's Point Honey. Let's cook. For this recipe, you're going to need some beef shanks. This is traditionally veal, but I don't eat food you have to be mean to to make extra delicious. Some white wine, something semi-sweet like Lake Niagara. Salt, pepper, carrots, celery with greens, cornstarch, diced tomatoes, onions, beef stock, oil, oregano, garlic, thyme, bay leaves, and for the optional gremolata, Italian flat leaf parsley, anchovy paste, and a lemon. Tie a string around your shanks to help them keep their shape. This is less necessary if you're using veal, and to be honest, half the time it falls off for me anyway, and this whole recipe works with any chunk of stew beef, so this part really doesn't matter that much if all you're going for is flavor. Season both sides heavily with salt and pepper, just don't forget to wash your hands between flips to avoid cross-contamination. Dust them not with flour, but with a little bit of cornstarch, and then get them into the hot pan to sear. Meanwhile, dice your mirepoix. After three minutes, don't forget to flip the meat. My strings fell off, and I don't really care, but after three more minutes, pull the meat out of the pan and set it aside. Add the mirepoix and a heavy pinch of salt, and really scrape the heck out of the bottom of the pan over the next couple of minutes to get up all of the fun. You'll hit a point where there's more brown stuff sticking than you're actually getting up. Add the wine to deglaze what's sticking, and then reduce it down by about half. Throw in the tomatoes, stock, herbs, salt, and pepper. Stir. Then nestle the shanks down into the liquid, cover them with a little bit of the vegetable, and use aluminum foil to form a tight seal over the top of the pan. Place in a 350 degree oven for two and a half to three hours. Meanwhile, to make your gremolata, Chop up several tablespoons of flat leaf parsley and a couple of cloves of garlic. Add the zest of one lemon and about a teaspoon of anchovy paste. Mix well and store in the fridge until you're ready to use it. When it comes out of the oven, it's going to look and smell amazing. But we're not done yet, so pull the meat out of the pan and set it aside. A little at a time, strain the vegetables, making sure to press them through the sieve with a spoon to get as much of the liquid as possible. Taste the liquid to see if it needs any salt and pepper, and adjust as needed. Bring to a boil and reduce by half or so until the flavor is just ridiculously good. To serve, put the meat on a bed of mashed potatoes, spoon over a little or a lot of the gremolata, and smother with sauce. Let's eat! Thank you for watching everybody. Please click like down below and don't forget to subscribe.